everybody and welcome once again to all of Fabric 3. Today we are going to start something new in terms of this mod pack and we are going to look at Get Off My Lawn. So let's get started. So Get Off My Lawn is a mod that helps you keep prevent mobs spawning in your area or where you want them not to spawn so to speak. So what we've got here is the, the different items and I've actually made all of the items including the glasses. Uh, the glasses are basically these ones, the recipe is very straightforward for these. Um, so look at the recipe for these. It's just four pieces of iron, two pieces of glass, and two pieces of drink. Make these glasses, and what they do is you can put them on. You can then see your claim. So we'll do that in a second. I think I can simply right-click these on, can I? No, yeah, I can simply right-click them on and off. So let's have a look at the different recipes. One starting at the beginning here. So this one here is the lowest level. So makeshift claim anchor, and then that has dark log stone and ender pearl. So what you do is you just take this one and let's put this down somewhere in the middle of the base. I'm going to put it down one block, I suppose. Let's just go down one block here. Should be, should be nothing underneath here. And we can put it down. And then anything in this area that you can't see at the moment. So we put the goggles on. So let's put the goggles on. You can see this area is now protected from mobs. And you can do other things like this, then you can upgrade this one. So the next one along here, you can either take take the claim anchor and put it in the middle here, or you can put an iron ingot in the middle and then get a reinforced upgrade. So that takes the reinforced claim anchor. So if you look at, go back to the recipes here. Um, so the next one along here is a reinforced anchor, then you've got a glistening claim anchor, a crystal claim anchor, an emer emerald rig claim anchor, a withered claim anchor. So those are the basic ones and that's, and then we go to the augmentations. So let's just take this. I'm pretty sure this will work. I haven't actually tested this, so it, it didn't say in the wiki. So you can right click this. Yeah, and sure enough, it changes it. So now let's have a look at the claim anchor. It's definitely bigger. It's going right back to that row over there. So let's finish these off and take the whole lot of them out of here. Oh, we got the the gold, the emeraldic. Where's the crystal one? Oh, it's here. So they're basically, you can see what they are. It's all the same stuff. It's basically blocks of whatever it is, plus uh, stone on the corners and an, and an iron one. It doesn't matter. It was the same for the emeraldic one as well. And then the last one of these is the, is the withered claim anchor. So this one against two withered stars and two soul sand instead of the blocks, plus the ironing. And I could, of course, take dig it up and put it into here and that would save me one in ingot but for the sake of it we want to have a look at how these progress along here so we, what the area is because I haven't done this before so I'll, I'll have a look so that's definitely gone about two blocks further away let's carry on with this one let's see if we can cover the whole base so this time I, so it's Starting to go a long way back, so look. Oh yes, it's going right back over here now, as you can see, in this direction. And in this direction, it's... Can't see it so far away. Oh, there, it is well covering the whole base now. Easily, but let's carry on with it and put them all into this particular one. None of them are actually that uh, difficult at this stage of the game. So I've got so many resources. So the Emeraldic one, let's see where this one goes to. So it's somewhere. Oh, it's a long way away. My goodness. In fact, it's actually even covering up, protecting this part of the, the villages over here. Fantastic. Actually, that's good. So one more. We've got one more to do. Let's go and get that put into place. And that's the top level one, which of course is getting towards end game. Not completely end game because it's a because it's a weather skeleton. <clears throat> Oh, wrong place. Like that. And then that should cover a much larger area. In fact, I don't know how big this area is. So it was the other side of this just now. And probably going... Oh, it's going a long way back. In fact, it's going past this... It's going halfway into this village. Oh, that's fantastic. So that, that's all protected in that case. Or we could move it a little bit further away. And, well, I'll do that later on. Maybe move it between the two villages somewhere because it's covering such a large area. I didn't expect it to cover such quite a large area. So what we can then do is now we can then augment this um, 
shape this anchor here. So the, the rest of these are basically augments. Let's come down and have a look at this. So here we have an augment ender binding. Let's prevent enderman from teleporting within the claim area. So what you do with this is you take it like this and then you can put it beside here. Um, to be dead honest with you, I don't exactly know where you, you put it, but let's put it beside this one here so now enderman can't teleport right we can't really visualize that so easily so let's just go and carry on this one here grants all players when they play water breathing and dolphins grace okay so that's a, a water breathing one so let's just put this one down uh, it's going to be quite so I, can, I don't actually know whether or not this works if i put it on the corner let's just try it because we can actually test this one because there is some water about over here that we can swim in. It's not very deep, but it's probably deep enough to test water. Uh, it's very shallow actually, it's more than one block down. Anyway, we'll see. Let's get into this room. We should press shift, can we? No, I can't swim in it, it's too shallow. Ah, right. <clears throat> let's, let's go to one that's a little bit deeper. Here we got two blocks down. That's actually three blocks down, that will do fine. So we've now got water breathing, and sure enough, I've got, even though my helmet's actually got it on, in fact, it hasn't got it on this particular helmet because it's not, I'm not wearing it at the moment. We've got the Aqua Affinity. Oh, it says here Dolphin's Grace, yeah. And Water Breathing. So you can see on here. I've also got weakness from uh, mining fatigue because I've not been eating or I've been preparing stuff, as is usually the case. <laughs> now, the next thing we can do with this mod is have a look at uh, what's some more of the. Ooh, that's a bit of it. But I like that. <clears throat> So this one here produces grants all players regeneration. So that's a nice one to have. So it does work on the corner. So we can in fact put all of these around here like this. That'd be nice. Actually, actually quite hard to break by the way these. You can try breaking them. They're actually pretty tough as you can see. That's And this is with an efficiency five pick. So this one as regeneration. So if I now have a look, I should get regeneration as well. So I've got uh, and to debug your regeneration, okay. So I'm getting regeneration, dolphin's grace. I don't actually know what do dolphin's grace is, it must be some useful enchant, probably for swimming. Next one, grants all play free flight. Here we go, the anchor he heaven's wings. So that's just iron around one nether star. So we get free flight, and we've got free flight anyway because we've got to. Well, let's put this one down. And then let's remove from my the angel ring. So I've got the angel ring. Actually, the angel ring is now turned off. So let's go up. And sure enough, we're flying within this area. <clears throat> let's go out of the area. Oh, that's going to be difficult as it happens. Tell you what, it's night time. I'll have a quick sleep and be back in a second. So I'm trying to travel outside the area. <laughs> There's quite a big area to see if we fall down. Um, and if we do, we should fall down any second now, I think. Might be good if you fall down into water. Oh, yeah, we did. In fact, deep. we have indefinitely fallen down. <laughs> as soon as we came out of this area. So that area is huge in this case. Let's just put the angel wings back on and fly back again. In fact, it actually helps if you were the middle of the bases without any maps. Because <laughs> you can see the square around here. In fact, I can turn it off the angel ring now, can't I? And we don't fall down. Fantastic. So, <clears throat> there's about two more of these augments left. I think there are three more. Let's have a look at this one here. Diamond and redstone around it is the augment of chaos zone. It's chaos zone, okay. And it grants players strength to all players within the claim. So let's go and put this one down. We haven't got strength at the moment, if we have a look. We've still got weakness, mining fatigue. <laughs> okay. So I suppose this is a one, it's a bit like a beacon, isn't it? I didn't in fact remove this one, so it's not in my hot bar. So now when I put this one down, we should get strength. Here we go, strength, as you can see. Let's go back over here. Next one along. This one here is, Villager Corp protects all villagers within the claim from hostile mobs, uh, from damage caused by hostile mobs. Okay, very useful for a village, of course. 
And the last one of these we'll have a look at is prevents with, uh, players from getting the wither status effect. Now we can actually test that. We might as well do. So let's just put these two down here. Got two more spaces, which is good. That's probably why it's a good idea to move to move this out of the way anyway. So, so now we can we can't really test whether the, the villages are protected or not, but we can test whether or not we're getting the wither effect. Now I do have a generator. Which one is it? I think it's in. No, that's the teleport generator. It's another start. Oh, I don't need to use another, so I can use the um, Wither Skeleton Skulls, can't I? Because I've got a lot of those. 357. Just take one. I have to put that in the generator. Um, unfortunately, where have I put the generator? I'm not 100% sure. Extra generators. So this one here is the... Oh, that's the Gluttony Generator. I think... I'm sure I've got the hold on this one around here. The wither generator. Okay, it's actually not used. It's got three nether stars in and it's not being used. Uh, and I don't know how to get that to use. Anyway, it should protect us. Everything else is working, so I guess this would work as well. I'll tell you what. How am I going to get this to work? If I use this machine, the fluid infuser. Hmm. No. In fact it's all of these machines, but it would probably be the first one that gets the last one that gets used because it uses the solar panel power first in fact i think it uses the, the power from the nearest generator first anyway so, let's have a look at this again we see we've got all of these different does it tell me i've got any no it doesn't tell me i've got uh, any protection against wither or we get anything to do with the village so so that's basically it. There's nothing more to this mod. It's just very simple. The only thing you have to do, these are all the augments we've just been through. Well, those are all the claim anchors and those are the glasses. So you can see where the claim area is and it's very big. So, well, that's it for this episode. Very short one because it's not got that much content and get off my lawn, but it's great. It looks like it's going to be a great mod. I'm going to see if it affects the, um, phantoms because i do get pestered by phantoms anyway until next time i wish you all the best bye for now